a three-point calibration gives you the best accuracy. And most beers are not at 1.120, they're more like half of that. So we are going to make a solution that is half that, or a little more, 1.061, which coincidentally is also around 15 Play-Doh. Well, exactly 15 Play-Doh. So for this, I've gotten a larger bowl because this, uh, the tilt will, will sink deeper with this um, SG. So I'm just gonna show here again that it is hitting the bottom here. I'm gonna bring this phone into view. It is hitting the bottom here, but it's, you can see here that if it, um, if, if it's floating at 1.061, you will actually, it won't be hitting the bottom. So we're gonna be okay here. Okay, so I'm going to dump this water into another bowl. And do exactly what I did for the other solution, the 1.120 solution. Gonna dry this bowl out. Dry this bowl out. It's ready to be teared. I'm going to put it on a scale. Bring the scale over. If you can read that, it kind of might be kind of hard. Kind of get some sun. There we go. I'm going to tear this. Okay, it's showing as zero. Um, now let's let's just fill it with water again. And see how much water this thing holds in grams. All right, let's fill her up. Okay, so let's say 1,200. 1,200 grams. I'm gonna go to my calculator and let's go to my calculator here. And we're gonna do um, a 1.061 solution, which is the same as 15 Play-Doh or 15% sucrose. So in that case, I would, do, I would multiply 0 0.15 times 1200, which equals 180 grams. So I wanna make 100, I wanna pour 180 grams of sugar in here. I'm gonna dump this water back out. Dry this bowl out. Okay, I'm gonna put the bowl back on the scale. It's reading zero again, just dried it out. Um, okay, again, 180 grams of sugar. Let's start adding that in there. 180. And now I'm going to add, bring to volume, 1200 grams, or bring to weight, I'll say. So I have to bring this number 180 to 1200. So here I go. My 
kind of know what the volume is going to be, so I'm just going to zoom on up there. Trying to get to 1200 again. the scale, so I'm going to turn that off. Put that away. And now I have the solution that I just made. I just put the ingredients in here. So 180 grams of, of um, sugar. And then I've added enough water to add to create a total volume of total weight of 1200 grams so we're all we're doing everything here by weight just gonna stir a little bit and dissolves pretty quickly here but you definitely want to make sure looks like that'll work um, i will uh double check with a um test with the Anton Parr. Okay, I'm gonna test now with this Anton Parr to verify that the SG is what I expect it to be, which is 1.061. Let's just go ahead and get the sample in there and let it go. Again, if you have your own hydrometer to use, then you can use that, but um, barely floating in here. In fact, it might be a little bit um, might be a little bit hitting the bottom. I'm going to go to the app and look at what it's reading now. So 1.063. So pretty close to, um, pretty close. Um, if you need a little extra, um, you can potentially tilt the, um, the container as such to get a little more uh, depth. Looks like we're floating here. We'll just verify. Okay, we're showing an SG of 1.056, but the uncalibrated gravity is actually 1.055, and that's what we're going to calibrate to. So we're actually going to now go to our calibration screen, type in the, uh, we'll get the current gravity, and type in the um, the gravity that we're now adding. So now we have added an additional point. And you can see here we have three calibration points, which is ideal really for, for tilt. Um, and you can see it was about six points off at 61, three points off at 120 and not off at all at 
and water. Great. So we've now calibrated this toe. Now maybe you want to um, verify an arbitrary gravity. Maybe you're not sure that uh, it's 100 percent accurate. Well, let's let's give that a give that a test. We'll um, we'll take the 120, combine that with the previous gravity, so we know this will this will work because we'll we're essentially mixing more sugar. So I would expect something around uh, 80 with this, or 80 points, 80 to 90. I'm gonna stir this. I'm gonna find out what the uh, Anton Parr would, would say. Sort of an arbitrary solution right here that I'm going to verify the tilt width against. See if that calibration was accurate. Ah, 1.083. Close to what I was kind of guessing, kind of in between 120 and 1.061. 1.120, 1.061. So now I'm going to float my tilt in there and see what the tilt is now going to say. Ah, it's, let it settle a little bit, 1.084, okay. Go to the gravity shown here, 1.083, which is within the two points that we do, do say accuracy. Make sure that's correct. Okay, 1.083 is the final number, and the tilt tells me I'm at 1.085. No, there, dropped to 84, so we're within a point. Okay, great. So we've, we've confirmed that um, our calibration curve is working, and we can brew a beer now, knowing that calibration points are, are good. Thanks for watching.